that. Alright, Devil, tell me if the volume's good. Alright. Alright. So this time you don't have any, do you don't even have the icon for Pell? Uh, I just cut it out because, like, it did the same thing as, uh... Who was here last week? Dark. Where it's just kind of, like, there for no reason. I see how it is. It's not... Nothing against you. Nothing against you. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get roasted this time, right? I already, I already know. I already. Oh, hold on, I got. Wait, 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 I can't prepare this time. I can't prepare. See, I'm good. Oh, you can't see it. I have a tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I mean, I can see the stream. I can see the stream. Oh, I saw the Kleenex. Okay. Yeah, see, we're it good, just, we're it's good. just delayed. It's just delayed. We're good. We're good. Okay. I hope everybody likes people show up, and then nobody's or everybody's just trying Birdo at the moment. <laughs> Is she out now? <laughs> I don't think Twitter's out right now. Is she, is, I thought she was out at the same time that we were going to do this. I think she starts out in an hour. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah she does, she's out when the tournament ends, which I think is at 8 or 9. 30 it's the same, yeah, 30, 30 more minutes. minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, okay, cool, cool, okay. Cool. That makes more sense. Yeah, hopefully this will load. Oh, God. Are you All having right. problems with the, the video or what? No, I'm just pausing. I think it's like wasn't loading. Okay. Yeah, for a little bit. I just wanted like a little bit buffered, just so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. <sighs> All right. I guess we do. Guys, just want to start now, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do it, then, boys. <laughs> now let's wait a little bit. Uh -huh. All right. Let's do it, boys. Okay. All right. Uh, what? Oh, me. Okay. All right, boys. Welcome to the third episode of the Mario Tennis Locker Room Podcast. As always, my co-host, lovely man. It's all fun and games. How you doing, bud? Hey to everybody. All right, awesome, awesome. And our featured guest today, notorious for being the best player in Mario Tennis Aces. Notorious? I think That's so. That's what do you mean. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I, right. say, I say famous. Okay. You know, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a god. You know? Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay, <laughs> dude. Yeah, no, please. No. Don't. I have the devil me. wolf ego. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Things are going to spill out. Devil hates me. Now. Devil, I love you. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, the best player in North America. We'll say that. All right, that's that sounds good. Um, Pelu, no why don't you introduce yourself? Introduce yourself. My name is Pelu Pelu. <laughs> I don't know if any of you real heard name. of me. That's my real name. Correct. Yeah. First name, last name, Pelu. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Daisy man. Pretty good at this game. Played a lot, and I know a lot about it. So that's why I'm here. All right, sounds yourself. Yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, so I guess um we'll go through the uh. The character list first for sure before you want to go through uh you could start with your oh, absolute gosh. favorite character daisy give us your uh <laughs> actually i think the best way of doing this is just so let me and melvin go and then you can kind of explain like where we what we're thinking and how you're thinking about the game i think that's easier so i feel like you're gonna go definitely okay. longer than us right also this is like not loading for some reason but whatever. okay um <laughs> my opinion daisy's absolutely busted uh, if you That's face fair. if you face against busted. the if you face against the good daisy melvin i'm sorry but that may not be you but oh, okay, so we're gonna throw <laughs> Hello, 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 please. We're supposed to roast him this whole podcast. I have, I'm, I'm standing up for myself today, boys. All right, I have the energy. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right Pelle, you need to roast him now. Like, okay, so absolute Daisy's busted. Uh, if you know how to play her, like, there's literally nothing she can't do. Um, and yeah, that's why, honestly my thoughts. She's good. Straight up. Okay, wait, great thoughts. A very <laughs> insightful information we got over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Daisy Ball. She's definitely better than she was before. She's definitely one of the top characters over there. But as I remember the first week when I was saying that a lot of people were like taking her over, it was only for the first week. Now this, uh, I, I go in the ladder, I barely see any Daisies. And the Daisies that I see there are not the greatest out there. Like if I can beat them, that, can, that just tells you how much they, they, they can do. Um, but in, in any case, I do think that she has a lot of a, a big tool set. Uh, a lot of people are still trying to figure out her reach. They think that the, she's going to be, she is like the next Peach or whatever. And she, I definitely don't think so. And you can see it even, you know, that there's always like that one character that everybody needs to play because if you don't play that, you're not going to be competitively viable. You can see it from yesterday on the ACS. Like what we went to the top four. And eight people had different characters. We had bloopers, we had Donkey Kongs, we had uh, uh, Koopas, we got Yoshis, Green Iguanas, Daisy. Like, there was so much variety that I don't think she's busted. I think she's really good. I don't think she's busted. All right, fair enough, fair enough. 
Yeah, she's definitely, in my opinion, the best character in the game. Just mm-hmm. because she has... The, oh, her only fault is her speed. Yes. And with, with the meta we've been developing, speed isn't that important if you can actually read properly and cover the other shots with check shots, which is what I've been doing throughout the course of this whole game. I hardly even run as Daisy nowadays. I just stand still, charge. If I don't get it, I trick shot. <laughs> what I've been doing this That's whole time. Uh, it works like... out really well. <laughs> Let me yeah. the notebook but, uh, you, you make it sound so simple, though. But everybody just tells me, this is what Pelo does. Try it. Uh, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I hear that, it just never works. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, I mean, and that's great about Daisy as opposed to a character like uh, Peach or Koopa is that she does have that baseline play that so mm-hmm. little characters can actually pull off. Like character, like a lot of power characters can pull it off, but slow. That is actually hard to tain a good neutral without just being angled to death. But Daisy has just enough speed power on her ground strokes that it really creates like a really oppressive play. And now yeah. with her volley yeah. changes, she can just rush to the net whenever she has an advantage and actually capitalize on it. Because before, you would just kind of have to like choke out your opponents instead of actually finishing them off. Her volleys were so bad that you needed an absurdly good advantage state to actually take advantage of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now it just you can you can get the advantage state through neutral at baseline. What Daisy's really good at is to actually get to the net. It's so easy to put, uh, actually secure the point. Do you think she needs to be nerfed at all, or do you think she's like in a good spot, or to be nerfed? Wait, say again. I don't think she needs to be nerfed. No? Okay. I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't even think she's that good. Honestly, mm-hmm. most people think she's top three, but where on top three mm-hmm. debate? Most, a lot of people think Koopa is number one, which I disagree with, just because um he's too limiting in his shot types, you know, B meta and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh. It, it, I think the slice, like, and do volleys on most of the shots, we'll see this kind of the power to actually keep it up. So he doesn't have as many options as other characters do. I mean, that slice is absurdly good. <laughs> like, I, it feels like Toadette slice a lot of the time. Like, I play Devil <laughs> yeah. Wolf, and it's just, it's like, I hit it, and it just whizzes by me perfectly into the corner. Yeah. But nice at the same like... time, no, go ahead. Yeah, at the same time, it's uh, <laughs> sorry for a completely overwhelming the podcast. At the oh, same time, good. he doesn't have options other than that, you know. He does, uh, he can't like he can, um, do those big top spins, but, but they're not the fastest, and he doesn't have many options outside of the net, so he can be overwhelmed really easily. It's fair. I mean, the only like really coop I know is like Devil. I don't. I don't ever really face against another one anymore. So hard to see like a bad coop in a. But I see your point. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. One thing that I see is like a lot of people are saying yes, she's one of the top characters. But then why aren't you playing her? And when people and when people actually try to play Daisy, it's like okay, I'm gonna switch because this is the best character in the video game. They're like, oh, never mind. I launch all the time. I either I need to like I run out of energy. I actually don't know how to play this character. So it's like it's not just a matter of that. See, this is what I like about this. It's not just a matter of switching, and it's like okay, you got it. That's it. You're good. You're gonna be the greatest at this game. It's not. It's not. It's not that easy either. So that's why I don't think that she is that busted. This is true. That's all. Awesome. But Daisy, as a, Sorry? as opposed to a lot of other characters, is that she has a much more varied shot selection. Mm-hmm. Like if you see me, I. I to use all my shot types in a 33% split. Mm-hmm. Like I split them up really to use flats a lot. That's the big joke, is that Daisy spam fl- uh, spams flats because it's good on the ground stroke and a volley. But uh, going from a character like Peach, where you can just spam slice and it's actually the optimal option, like I'm not mm-hmm. blasting people for using slice a lot, it's really hard to actually figure out what all those shot types are effective in, what's in uh, what situation. Mm-hmm. Which is why I think Daisy actually has one of, if not the highest skill cap in the game. There we go. That's see, why when see? I said that, well, when I said she's the best character, if you know how to play her, that's why I said it. That's why I started with that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, high, I'm highest skill ceiling doesn't necessarily mean that the best character in the game. There we go. It's, it's a lot you can do with it. Yeah. 
She just definitely seems like she's really good. Like even if you don't yeah, really know what you're doing. So but let's go to the other princess now. What what about the peach? Uh, I really for some reason, I wouldn't if you told me this like two weeks ago, I'd be pretty upset. But okay. uh, I, I kind of miss Peach a little bit. Oh, you know, whoa. I, back in the day, I was back in the day. I played so many Peaches that uh, the only reason I uh, not the only reason, but the main reason why I liked Daisy was because she was so good against Peach. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, a lot of people just uh, with a new patch, they switched off to like a, probably another character. Um, yeah. yeah, and it's kind of sad, you know. There's like no. Peach players anymore. There's this Jimby, kind of Kobu kind of plays Peach. There's some other Peaches that got like top 32 in the qualifier, I believe. Mm-hmm. But it's just it's kind of sad, you know. Peach is a really cool character. I think she's really, really good this match. But I guess now that the the game is a little more balanced, people actually play the characters they want to play, which I guess people don't really want to play Peach all that much. So it makes sense. Yeah. Is there, you, you really see the people that really wanted to play this uh, Peach to begin with uh, that are actually sticking with her. I was surprised. I know that Jimby was kind of dabbling in the world of Daisy for a little bit in the latter, but after look, at, but after a while, she's like uh, he, the Jimby's still just a, a Peach main, and he demonstrated that she's not completely in the ground at, in the in the qualifiers. Yeah, we. I think when with the patch hit, we all expect her to be pretty rough. So I guess a lot of people just like got off her immediately, just not even risking it. Uh, and then Peach is one of those characters where you kind of like it's like Daisy, right? Like you can't just swap over to her. Like you actually know need to know how to play her. So mm-hmm. um, maybe that's why like we don't see Peach as much. It's like she, because like you have to actually be good at her now. You can't just like press buttons and do well. So that's mm-hmm. probably a huge reason why. But I like I just want to point out Palo doesn't Palo doesn't wants Peach to be back just so he could do better in the game. <laughs> <laughs> better than he already is. Already, like. By the way. <laughs> Yeah, but overall though, she's like she's still really good. Like I think like, in my list, I put her at, like top five. Like that's how good she was. Oh yeah, I think she's the third best, if not the second best. But that's I, if they're actual peace players. No, it's Jimby. I would probably put her higher. I'd probably put her as a definite number two. But there's just not enough data. Mm-hmm. It's true, it's true. Yeah, there's definitely not enough anymore. I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Like, I was tired of seeing her face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, Toad. Interesting. Um, yeah, Toad. I, I did not expect Toad to get back to this patch at all. Like I thought Toad was really, really good last patch, just yeah. because of I think it was the zone speed. Where you could just zone speed at net all the time and hit those mm-hmm. amazing one tap angles. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, one taps and net are so pointless because double tap flat exists. Yeah. And Toad's major strength which was the volley angles, are just kind of obsolete now. So he just feels like a a worse toad at nowadays. Now that, like, double tap flats and slices are pretty much all you do at net, there's no reason to one tap a lot of the time at net. It just kind of feels obsolete. Would you would you think, like, uh, playing toad in those situations and single tapping would, like, throw off play- some players... Uh of their game just because they're so used to the single taps and the double tap uh, that sorry the double tap slices and flats like hit and miss I, I, I think he's his mic might be lagging hold on oh you yeah so I, I you guys lagged a bit for me no oh, okay <laughs> but, uh, i've been trying to stitch together what you guys have been saying no, I mean, just like 50 percent of the words <laughs> no, worries, no worries that's fine that's fine that's fine let's move on you sure? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Here, I'll just give like my like our general thoughts on it. Toad. Uh, Toad last patch was really good. Like he seen like especially like I played against Pelu in like Schwimps tournament, and I didn't even know the power of Toad until he showed it. And then I started realizing <laughs> like how good he actually could be too. And you have the surprise factor as well, right? Where like how, people are gonna be like, how the hell do I play against this character? Um. It Toad has a lot of options that people just don't know about. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, like, when I played against you that one time, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, how is he doing this? Like, <laughs> right? Um, I, I haven't seen him a lot this patch, to be honest. Like, I don't think I've played against him once uh, in ladder. And I haven't, I didn't, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the tournament yesterday, so I don't even know if anyone played Toad. But it seems like the, the, way, the way the meta is just does not, like, work with him whatsoever because there's just people who do it better than he does. So he's not mm-hmm. bad, it's just, like... He's missing. He's just not like nearly as good as he needs to be in order to be played, yeah. I guess. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where he goes. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm curious where you put him on like a tier list, though. 
Like, I think that's where, like, a lot uh, of people probably guessing. I have my tier list Ooh. right here. I put him at 15th, right next to Mario and Diddy Kong. Hmm. Yes. I, he could probably be higher than that if he had more representation. But it's just kind of, a lot of the time, it's not worth that representation. I'd like to see Kubu's Toad. I haven't actually seen it since Patch. I haven't yeah. heard anything about it either. Yeah, he switched to the blooper, so... Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, now let's talk about. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I was gonna say to move on to the the green iguana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can someone explain to me why everyone's playing Yoshi recently? <laughs> I logged on one day. Literally, like everyone I knew was playing Yoshi. Thing with uh, oh, sorry, I, I, if I'm interrupting you, I can't tell. No, it's not, all no the time. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, like ibuprofen, who's always wanted to play like Luigi mm -hmm. and Yoshi. Now yeah. that Peach isn't as relevant, she's not like the by far the best character in the game. They can actually do that without getting punished too hard. You know, like they can, you can find success with these worst characters now, and a lot of people really like Yoshi, which is deserved because Yoshi's adorable. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. But personally, I think he might have gotten worse over Patch. His top spin is by far his best shot, but since the patch, slice and flat have been like the number one things in a character, hmm. and top spin isn't that useful anymore. It used to be you could double tap topspin and net to create like a really good angle, but now flat is that exact thing, but better. So that, that property is no longer needed, which is why Mario isn't good either. Yeah. 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 You can see you can see it like even uh, the match that we were looking at here between Devil and Ibu, a lot of the shots that Ibu was always using it was mostly flats and slices. So it's like even if, if top spin is supposed to be the best shot that he had before, then it's like it's not even utilized to its full extent. Yeah, <laughs> Taufman's not that important nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sad because I I like Taufman a lot. I think it's a really cool and well designed so shot. Were were people just playing him just because like they wanted to play him? I guess then because there probably is, there doesn't seem to be like a like a reason, right? Yeah, I think uh, people play him just because he's a viable middleweight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like a top tier, but he's not a mid tier, low tier. It's like in a good spot, and people like to play that kind of not yeah. amazing character. Yeah. You know, being the underdog. Yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. Is he the? Uh, would you say he's the best speed character right now as well, or no? I mean, Koopa. Co okay, I don't, I don't even count Koopa as a speed <laughs> character. He's oh wow! <laughs> he's like he's in his own league, dude. With that drop, I'm, I'm like, it, yeah, but he's in that category. All right, dude, listen here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, I guess if you ignore Koopa, then Yoshi can be the best. <laughs> okay, all right, dude. I'm just gonna leave over, <laughs> but we right. had, wait, there's <sighs> Yoshi and then Toad. Am I missing someone? There's Diddy. Yoshi, Toad, Koopa, Diddy. Diddy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Diddy's not that good. Yeah, he's <laughs> not much talk about Diddy. He's just not that good. <laughs> uh, I mean, they gotta nerf those angles uh, after the fact. <laughs> yeah. It's a little too threatening. Too spicy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, right. yeah, from, the little, from the little monkey to the big gorilla. Uh, that, he, that, that was quite a change there. Everybody thought that the Alpha Kong was the Diddy before the patch, and now we got this gorilla going on over here. What do you think? Uh, Don Donkey Kong's really interesting. Okay. He's pretty much Wall of Ouija, but okay. cool. But he doesn't have that stigma to him, you know. He he does take a lot more skills than Waluigi, I think. Like his his movement takes a, uh, quite a lot of getting used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's like characters like uh, players like Jim where find a lot of success in his horizontal move. But I personally just he's got a, a very very defensive play style, Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. and it, it's hard to get the options to actually um do consistently well as dk in my opinion okay like once people start to actually learn how to get around them easier or if they just play top tier characters like daisy and peach mm -hmm. then he'll have a much harder time dk struggles a lot against like technical characters from what i understand yeah, yeah. definitely seems like it. And it's, it, it's a lot like waluigi where he's he's um a gatekeeper of mid to low yeah. tier characters I mean, his reach is not that, uh, it's not as great as Waluigi, but now that he has a weird pivot or horizontal movement, just kind of throws you off. You think you can get one past him, all of a sudden he just moves so quickly that you, he can literally hit it at you. I've seen players, for example, Man, I think. Reach a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. I, people like Carter, for example, does one of his strategies is just oh, send he's he's doing the Waluigi strategy, which is basically build up a bunch of energy and spam special. Now that the, the actual push special is a little bit better than before the patch. Yeah, for sure. DK definitely seems like a like if the best power character in my opinion. If not, I think Bowser might be near him, but DK just has mm -hmm. a lot of options now. But it seems like he's like extremely really good. I think uh, perfect timing too. The, the video that's about to be pulled up is like Jim Ray playing DK, so we can kind of like base it off him. Nice, nice. But, it's impressive uh, that Jim Ray got second place. I didn't personally. I didn't think DK even had that in him. It's really impressive of Jim Ray to do that. He played oh, yeah. DK the entire time too, right? Uh the the one that I saw, yeah. As far as I know, he only played DK. Damn, dude. Is that the is that the character though, or is that just the player? Because Jim is like an actually extremely good player, and it makes sense that he does that well Jim too. Jim has always he, been a good player. Yeah, he mm -hmm. comes off like Waluigi too, right? So it makes a lot of sense. They'd be so good. <laughs> All right, so that that was the monkey. Uh, let's go and talk about the weirdest top spin in the game, the blooper. Oh boy, I hate playing That's against him now. Do you, you hate him? I still hate it. Well, I mean, okay, so I made a video on this a long ago, ago, and I refer to it as the blooper problem, and blooper has the one of the mechanics in the game that is extremely frustrating to play against. Okay. And Boo kind of has the same thing, except for at least with Boo, it's not as emphasized. Like, you could see when, like, the curve's going to happen. You could kind of predict where the curve's going to go. Blooper, on the other hand, is like, you're so not used to that top spin because no other character has that, that if you're not playing against them, like, every, like, five games or so, you have to readapt to that play style, right? So, mm -hmm. when you come to it, because not, not a lot of people play Blooper. Like, obviously, in, like, the, the community, it seems like a lot of people are playing Blooper now. But if you just go on ladder, like I play blooper like maybe like once every 20 games and I always get caught off guard with that freaking top spin right at the start because I'm like, what the hell just happened? What is that curve? But like he it's cool that he's good. But uh, I hope that they don't buff him further, if that makes sense. The, okay. the, the issue is that if they keep buffing him, then he's just going to be a menace and very, very like unfun to play against. There is a certain point where like you can't balance him. You can only um make him op or you can only make him like okay and that's yeah, where yeah. like blooper is and if they make him too good then it's just really unfun like it's it's like bowser jr all over again because if he's ability if he has that ability to just completely oppress you then yeah it's not gonna be a good time but that's that's yeah, my that's my thoughts the thing is like you might not, that, that that's the problem like you said before not a lot of people play blue so you're not used to that top scene imagine if now a lot of people they didn't play boo for example then you wouldn't like the, the slices will also confuse you the first time that you play him. Those slices I, right now, Boo with the with the slice buff, and when he he like he, those slices at the net and the slices at the back, like they go so fast that I think compared to Blooper, I uh, think like that I hate playing Boos more than I hate playing Bloopers That's at fair. the moment. Uh, but otherwise, I'm I, I was glad of all the changes that they made. I, I think it's actually pretty fun to play with. I don't know against against like you just have to like I, I mean the first few points yeah if he gets to serve and he gets that top spin on you you actually have to like the predict it or you're gonna have to like give up the point but after you gain energy I feel like it's very difficult for blooper to like win on you he win, like blooper has to win uh, super quickly or you have to be really good at with him and at predicting shots and be a really good player in order to win. That's fair. That's actually fair. He does have a really high yeah, skill. Blooper, yeah, blooper mm -hmm. is. It's changed a lot based on like the energy leads that the player mm -hmm. has. He either be one of the best characters in the game or just the absolute worst. Like Blooper, yeah. if he, Blooper doesn't have energy, and the opponent does, it's pretty brutal. There's not much he can do just because his his trick shot is really good. It's got a really good range, but you can only do that for so long, and you have to trick shot like every single shot of Blooper if you don't yeah. have the energy. But once Blooper does have energy. He has so many mix-ups with his top spin that he basically forces you to use energy for every single shot. Like, yeah, there's a lot. There's Blooper's so many got shots. a lot of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blooper's got a lot of really high skill techniques, like um, especially if you flip the hand in this last second and completely reverse your opponent's like um, expectations. If you have a forehand and your opponent expects you to hit it left and then you swap to a backhand and you hit it really sharp angle to the right it's super hard to actually get around that mm -hmm. yeah i mean the angles themselves are like in the game are just frustrating unless like you obviously know what the heck's <laughs> happening 
but uh, I get I, I definitely see that point. Though. As soon as Blooper loses energy, it seems like he's a di- completely different character. But even mm-hmm. then, like he could still like mess you up. Like if you give him that yeah, shot Blooper, opportunity, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Blooper with low energy is just a really slow toadet. He's got a great slice, and he benefits from that a lot in the new patch. He has a really consistent slice that he can use a lot of the time. Yeah. But he's so slow that it's hard to actually pull that off consistently. Yeah. Definitely. I'm just happy that they, like with the buff and a lot of people, I actually having a lot of fun playing as him. It's like, again, my secondary, when I, I'm never going to be good up Daisy, no matter how bad I am, it's fine. Okay. I can deal with through, through that. Uh, but I, the other ones is like, I really like playing. Is, I don't know why I like playing as Yoshi. Again, I also picked up Yoshi, but I, I like playing as him. I can't really tell you why exactly is. I think it's what Pelly's saying is right. It's like, it's a, he's a good like mid level that you can actually uh, be good with. Uh, but I also like uh, Blooper as my secondary, so I'm, I was happy with the changes. Yeah, Blooper's a great change of pace. I play him mm-hmm. sometimes. Just to, it's like a whole different game when you play him. Yeah, that's good though. But I feel like they, that's exactly what they wanted with Blooper, right? Mm-hmm. As long as they. It's so weird. Yeah, it's good though. It's always good to have a character like that in the game. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Um, where would you put Blooper on a tier list? Uh, Blooper on my tier list is like right in the middle. He's in uh the bottom of B plus. He could literally be like mm-hmm. anywhere in the tier list though. I have no idea where he is. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. He needs cool. a lot of good players to show me that he's actually worthy. I mean Did you play do you play against Kerbo? I have not played against Kerbo. Okay. Okay. Did Kerbo Just use him me. yesterday? Yeah. I'm, guess, yeah, I'm guessing he was in it, right? Where did uh Kerbo mm-hmm. play? Do you know or no? Uh he was top eight. Oh really? Uh... Mm-hmm. Ooh, I should really look who's top eight. I know. I'm guessing like Cooper got fifth place. Oh my fifth god! Place. Wow. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> With the blooper. I, he played. Right? Uh, he didn't play exclusively blooper. No, no, no. Like, he played Peach versus Devil Wolf. Yeah, exactly. He he was uh, uh, he mixed them up, but there were there was a lot of blooper in there. When I saw the character selection screen, and he's like, "Are you kidding me? A blooper actually made it to top eight? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's good though. It's good. All right. I guess we'll uh, we'll move on to Wario. Um. I don't want to talk about Wario. Let's move on. Really? Wait, why? Wait, wait. The list? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Wario. Wario is just like what old Daisy used to be. Oh, okay. Just baseline, and you just stand there. Interesting. Until you put him with that energy. So, Wario. is he like good or is he bad? With thoughts on that? Yeah, he's probably good. He's probably. I don't, I don't like using brain power on Wario. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wario, Wario is just the character I get when I pick random. Like oh the cosmic God. punishment. Right wow. Really? Wow. I thought he is was. It the, uh... Is it the? Eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh. Is, is that right? right? That's <laughs> oh, the one. Spamming front tricks and back tricks is boy uh, is fun. I'll give I'll give him that. Oh my gosh! No, that's not fun. But uh, hearing that <laughs> over and over again just like brings me nightmares. <laughs> we're Daisy players. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, Daisy play, like, Daisy's voice is amazing. Uh, the, 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 the Daisy Ditto. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> it's just white noise to me. It's like no commentary. <laughs> you forget that it even happens. Uh, all right, so that's the uh, uh, that's all the characters that we kind of wanted to address, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, I was gonna ask you because I think we don't have really have the topic. Um, wh- who's the top five characters on your tier list, brother? Just so everyone. Oh, uh, Daisy number one, Koopa, Peach, Toadette, and then number five is actually really weird. I think Luigi is number five. Mm. But no one has really shown that. Mm. Like, there, there, there's like, there's like five characters that have the potential of being number five. It's we just need someone to actually show us. I think Yoshi might be the best bet, just because we got good players playing him. Maybe mm. Boo, maybe Blooper, maybe DK. It's cool. The game is in a really good state right now. Yeah. It's hard to tell who's really good and who's not. Yeah. That that's good when you when you have that variety of play of characters. That it's like okay, I mean, I don't know which one is good, which one is not. It's like Finally, yeah, I mean, all great. I, it, it might be it's like okay, maybe it's not at the perfect game, but it's 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 as be, it's as be, it's as good as it has ever been. It's yeah, it's much better than the last patch for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except Rosalina. So, I don't, <laughs> don't need to talk about Rosalina. I'm gonna break. Oh, down. Kawaii Pelu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, based on your Aces experience as well, uh, what are the players to watch out for, or who are the players I should say? You know, think about this current meta that we're in. There were mm-hmm. so many great players. Um, there's like pretty much anyone can just be a sleeper hitter. 
Like we've seen that a lot. We've seen a lot of upsets. And it's just like someone can just get really good all of a sudden with all the characters being really good. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'll, I'll think. I'll think about it. Oh. <laughs> all, all the characters being really good, people can just make these upsets without. Because it used to be that, like, if you were Peach or Waluigi, you couldn't really lose to someone else that wasn't Peach or Waluigi, just because mm-hmm. you had such a big advantage. But now that a lot of these players that have been playing for the longest time, but have been playing worse characters, mm-hmm. uh, people like Magnet, and uh, yeah, people like ma- mainly Magnet. He's shown that a lot of these characters are super viable, mm-hmm. and you can make yeah. that upset really well. I think he won um, a tournament when I was at Gatorland, I believe, with oh, a yeah? lot of good, like, a lot of great players in it. That's awesome. Chain Chomp, yeah, it's impressive. With the Chain Chomp, that, that's also like seeing Magnus Chain Chomp. It's like, wow, I never thought again. I'm not this character could do so many things. Now, I've always kind of suspected Chain Chomp had potential because he, okay. he felt like Bowser. But um, he didn't have like any charge speed, mm-hmm. which it it take it took a, a quite a bit of skill to actually be in position properly to mm-hmm. not have to use your charge speed. But yeah, he's got good potential. Magnet's showing that. I mean, not only that, there, there's there's also a few more people that are playing change up at the moment. There were quite a few oh, yeah. of them. A lot of EU players, also. apparently. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, well, that I didn't know that change was popular in the EU. Oh, no, he didn't. He, like he didn't win PK hat. He got second. My bad. Yeah, he got second against Devil Wolf. Who's the NA chain jump? There's like Pika fan if he still plays, and then there was Mini if he still plays as well. I don't know. I don't know if they do though. Well, there's Michael. There's Ogre. Michael plays him too. Yeah, I can't forget about Michael. Yeah, I just yeah, don't. So there's... Oh, yeah, okay. there's a few of them out there. I feel like I just don't play like any against them, Laddie. Mm-hmm. And then when you do face against him, you're like, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like playing it because it's like the mat- the, uh, the previous meta I didn't like so much like matches were so long they could last literally 50 minutes if you get like wa, wa- walls yeah. or like yeah, yeah. Bowser Ditos this time around it's a lot better there's not that many rallies uh, happening you get a lot more points a lot quicker uh, but but still like when you play against Changeum it gives you like that feel of going back to those matches that last forever because it has such a big reach you feel almost powerless, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely about My it. play style, I, I basically just angle spam nowadays. I use <laughs> one taps all the time. Yeah. That really works well against Chain Chomp because you can't micro adjust really. He's got a really yeah. slow initial startup speed and his mm-hmm. charge speed like he's, is absolutely nothing. Like He can't move while charging. And that's really punishing for people who have really good angles like Daisy. Yeah. I like to hit the one tap slots just like back down the line and he it's always barely out of his reach. Like you can't really adjust for that a lot of the time. You have to cover yeah. one option. It's hard to do with such a big boy. Yeah. Magnet. <laughs> or, or, I still... or other prediction. <laughs> this really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah pred- predicting is like you again. You you have to be like some people even call you sometimes like a uh the what what's the word of that guy that like reads minds? Forget the word. Reads minds. Mind yeah. reader. <laughs> okay, mind reader. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> a mind reader, just because you were able to predict shots so so clearly, and it's and I'm, I I was I was always wondering: is it always the prediction, or is it was mostly you what you were saying, like charging your daisy shot and just trick shotting when you couldn't get by, uh, at the ball, or or were you actually like trying to predict the shots? I'm oh, sorry, I'm I'm kind of lagging. <laughs> you repeat oh, the question. I was just wondering, like a lot of people were asking you. Uh, Dave, where did you where predicting? It's like okay, they, you are very good at predicting shots. Like you barely move around the core, and you're able to like uh, hit it back very quickly. Uh, is it a, is it a matter of reading the shots correctly, or is just like you pick a side what you think is best, and you just try to trick shot to the other side? Well, no, obviously, I I make a lot of reads uh, reads when I play. Mm-hmm. Um, what I like to do is I analyze like where my opponent is and what shots he can actually do. That's the most important part. Like it's mm-hmm. not like making the 50-50 read every time. It's yeah. seeing what your opponent even has access to. Like what shot types would be fast enough that you wouldn't be able to react to it. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time nowadays, it's slice you have to worry about. But like, for instance, if the ball is just bounced against someone like a uh, chain chomp, I don't mm-hmm. know. But uh, it's analyzing where they are on the court and what options they even have. If they have the potential hit angles, if they have like a lot of the times hitting it down the line 
it's way safer than hitting it cross court because cross court would be really slow. Mm-hmm. It, it's just got kind of like it's more analyzing what they have options to than just doing the hard reads. You know, people think okay. I'm a psychic, but I just, <laughs> I'm good at analyzing. There you go. Their opportunities. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, one other thing that was brought up yesterday: Is it true that you also keep track of shots to get the rally bonus oh, and do That's a shot based true. on that? Unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be next level. I've tried to do that, but I somehow cannot count to five. Okay. <laughs> always mess it up. All right, all right, just making sure because I can't even imagine like having all that like, information in your head and also counting what the shots are. I'm like, okay, this is just all right. This is why I'm not good at this game. I'm never gonna. <laughs> <have that laughs> <level. laughs> oh, okay, but it's the good counting to know. meta is gonna show up anytime soon. You really okay, think good? It's okay. gonna be one player that just shows up and can just count. It'd be oh really gosh. impressive. I feel like I was watching Bobber like in a tournament. Maybe it was against you. Like you're super, super long games, and he was counting like one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and I'm watching. I'm like, what the fuck is this tennis? Like this is so insane. Like I, I think so- that was just a way of Bobber not like eroding his brain. That's Those hour long matches are, are oh, yeah, horrible. That was... Yeah, I don't know he needed he needed something to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he says that's how he has so much stamina in matches. He occupies himself by counting. There you go. Over listening to uh, Killer Instinct soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> that's I don't know how he even does that. Like listening to such epic music for an hour mm-hmm. long. That's gotta be great. Probably it, it, you gotta remember that that high pod versus forward match when he just went uh, ham hammock. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Getting his pillow match. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, our, our match wasn't very climactic, unfortunately. Mm. That was, I think that was, um, Bob would start to get really good immediately before Patch, and he'd be able to beat me consistently as Daisy. Mm-hmm. And luckily, Patch hit, and now Bob <laughs> died. It's really sad. Oh, no. Rip Bob, dude. F in chat for Bob. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Bob has gotten so abused Poor by this God. game. It's unbelievable. Yeah. We'll see. Birdo is Jota. I, 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 Chad is saying that Birdo is out. Let's see. What happens there? I don't. I don't have faith. I don't think Nintendo <laughs> would ever support Bobbert, Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> rough. Ever Even his name is Bobber Tendo. Trying to name himself after the, <laughs> the, the publisher. I'm sure he'll Nothing. make it work. If he if he really is that desperate, I'm sure he'll make Birdo work if he's bad. <laughs> but then that might slowly kill him more. So then we're just in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. I'm actually like really curious the way she plays, but we'll we'll get to Birdo later. We'll get to Birdo later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so um, describe to us your uh, Zeno versus uh, your yeah, like the match you played against Zeno. Like, how was it? <laughs> like, what would you say about it? Are is Japanese like better than us? Like, all your thoughts. If he's First here. of all, okay, coward. Coward. Play me again. Sit back and relax, buds. Here we go. Because <laughs> we had we had bad lag. And we didn't have bad lag. It's just like if I was in Japan, and I was the best in Japan. Play the guy who's considered the best in the world. The new patch. No. I don't know if you can hear me. No, we can hear yeah, you. Right, I, we, oh, okay. you were cutting out for me for a bit, but is are you okay, Raron? You're yep. the best. I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really disappointed because I was getting really hyped up to play Zeno. I had the Devil Wolf ego. I'm like, I can beat Zeno easily. <laughs> in the new patch, Daisy's OP. And he's like, oh, sorry. My, the line is too bad. I only play with people with good lines. It's, it's, it's devastating. What? Yeah. Being, being rejected like that. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's back to high school days. Oh, and not God. only that, he, <laughs> he is the one who gets the polo. Yeah, I know. He, he made a tweet about he wanted to get the polo and it upset me. I'm, very upset <laughs> I'm not even top 10 in the world anymore, so I probably don't deserve a polo in Nintendo's eyes. Mm. But, you know, I'll probably just get a polo and then put a Mario sticker on it and be really sad about <laughs> a it. A sticker in it. That's, you put it in the washing machine <laughs> and it just falls like, off. <laughs> the polo is so low quality. Like, no one would wear that in public. But I would. I'd be the only exactly. one to appreciate it. And you don't have to put oh, the no. Mario logo in it. You can just put Daisy. It would be better. Ooh. But that'd be a little, might be little much. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> just put that my, like that massive flower in the middle of the polo. The one that Daisy oh, wears. Oh god! There you go. <laughs> I saw this post on uh, on Reddit. They had like the custom tennis rackets 
oh, I was yeah? almost considering oh. that. And I'd be like, oh, man, nah, at the same time, that's getting a daisy racket. <laughs> <laughs> Little much. Oh, anyway, man. we played last time, mm-hmm. and I had a lot of opportunities to win points, but Daisy's volleys were so bad, and Luigi's mm-hmm. range was so good that he could literally cover all my options by standing in the right spot. It's as if I was doing a trick shot every time at the net, and he could just cover it all. It was absurd. Interesting. But now that Daisy actually has angles at net, I'm pretty sure that all those opportunities I got him into a bad state, I can actually mm-hmm. capitalize on. So you think you can just beat him, like, completely? Yeah, I do. Especially if you play Mario. I've seen his Mario in, like, casual matches, obviously. Mm-hmm. His Mario is going to look a lot different versus a Rosalina than it is against me. But it seems like he just plays it as it would be Luigi. Like, he just, like, stands at T and uses slice. Hmm. Which, obviously, isn't that good. It's a lot better than it was pre-patch as Mario. Yeah. I still think I can easily capitalize on all these bad habits. Yeah, but he won't, he won't give it to you. He won't give, he won't it, give it to me. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like you're going to have to like uh, make Pelo go to Japan. Yeah, actually. Just, just, uh... Dude, I, I would have gone to the Japanese tournament. But they, they, they're they not going to accept me as an American. Cause it's a regional only tournament. Wow. I was so I was ready to fly over there. But nope, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Because <laughs> Nintendo forgot we existed. It was bad, dude. That's it was bad. bad, man. Yeah, yeah. But like, even even when <laughs> when they released their tier list, everybody was saying, "Can you imagine if they bought Daisy? Even though our North American best player it plays a Daisy." And he's like, "Yeah," and they they did it. There you go. <laughs> they don't care about us. They really don't. I don't think <laughs> Nintendo really like, has ever cared about us, though. So. So it's not like they're targeting now. I think I don't really. <laughs> Good. Well, sm- I think Smash is mostly, it's like more popular over here than it is in Japan. So they're, they're bringing a lot of stuff over here. Mm-hmm. Like that might even be a reason why they don't care about Aces. Sure. Just because they want to focus on Smash a lot. Yeah, come, okay. Smash but being they in clearly, the They right clearly now. understand that the NA has a uh, competitive scene. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in Aces, but just in general. Like, it's yeah. not like we don't play competitive games. Yeah. It's it's a small game, and I'm I'm not too upset that they're not recognizing us. To be honest, We've kind of gone over it over the months. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're you're kind of going through the same uh, episodic uh, feelings that the Bober goes through, like denial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the uh, five stages of grief. I'm yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good that you have that uh, outlook on it, though. I'm sure, like, I don't know if you've ever played. Like, have you are you gonna play Smash probably right now? I played Smash 4, but I wasn't very good at it. Mm. I was pretty good, but I only played online tournaments. Okay. Which was super demoralizing. Yeah, they. Because online you. tournaments are pretty brutal. Yeah. I never went to a local, which I really should have, because I think I would have won a lot of locals. But I was a Shulk player. Shulk. Funnily enough, Zeno is also a Shulk player. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, this probably goes beyond tennis now. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno probably doesn't even care, I guarantee it. <laughs> He's probably just like Pelo, please. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the vibe I was getting from his very basic Google Translated message. I know yeah. the <laughs> the underlying message behind Google Translate me- uh, text. No, but if he doesn't really care, then why doesn't he give you the rematch? You know, not worth his time, dude. I don't know. Well, yeah. Maybe scared. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we have contact. We need to get Dart to contact Nintendo so we can set something up like official. Wow. I actually see what happens. Let's see. Sorry, what? We we should get a we should get Dart to hook up Nintendo to see uh if they set up a match. Dart, you. please do everything. <laughs> Dart, <laughs> Dart, do everything. Dart, Dart, please. Here is Dart, please. Yeah. He's, he's Dart, Dart's doing such a great job, honestly. Yeah. No, it's he's crazy. A, he's yeah. a really helpful in the community. Yeah, I think that this is a perfect time to like kind of go to our next topic. Like, what do, what do you think of the Aces series? Like, what was your overall thoughts? Was it the best tournament for Mario Tennis? Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. There's a lot more people, I think, there's, than there's ever been. From what I believe, maybe M Talker 1 had more. We had, mm-hmm. like, I believe, 70 plus players, which is like oh, yeah. normally yeah. it's like 100 uh, people who register, but there's like 50 people who don't enter. Mm-hmm. Most yeah. of the people actually entered this time. It was a great tournament, minus the whole kerfuffle. 
Yeah. The yeah. stream stuff. But that yeah, was then... kind of... And we moved on. It wasn't that bad. Obviously, Devil Wolf would probably disagree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. But this, uh, we also had a little bit of a hiccup, hiccup at the beginning where the were like reset and all. Everybody was freaking out. We yeah, that was like, also Devil Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Everything seems to have a root cause. <laughs> What's the connection here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But overall, I, I, in my opinion, like I didn't play in it, commented on it. I had a lot of fun, even though I was just looking at matches and all the, seeing all the variety of players, the variety of characters in it, uh, seeing what everybody was trying to do. It was a, it was a really, really good to see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I didn't Excited get to see the next one. So. Yeah, I... yeah. Well, there, there's uh, the quali- the second round of qualifiers coming up in two weeks. So that's pretty exciting. I wonder if we'll get a patch before that too, because like if they do it like a mid patch, I got a feeling they won't patch until the uh, Japanese tournament in like a month and a half from now is Ooh. over. Even then, they might not even patch. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think there needs to be a patch to be honest. Maybe to fix that. Um. Oh yeah, the blue JJ tag. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think I don't she likes it that we call it a blue JJ. <laughs> 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 Whatever what it's called, they definitely yeah. need to hot fix that sometime. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't think they like to do those really small patches. Do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, um, yeah I saw. I saw. It. Yeah, uh, they linked it to me. It's crazy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's happened. been a lot of discussion on even if that should be banned, mm-hmm. because it's been it's been pretty solid points that it shouldn't be banned just because um there is counterplay, like you can pretty much force a, never allow them to have a star shot that like hasn't hit the ground yet, but I think ultimately we've all decided that it's. It's just not healthy for the game at all. Mm-hmm. It, it basically transforms the game into something that was not intended. And because of all like the weird stuff that happens, it's clearly, from anyone's view, it's clearly a bug. It's just yeah. it's really not helpful for the community. It's pretty it's funny to watch. That's, yeah, that's it's, yeah, sure. yeah. it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, when they showed me the clip, I was like, wait, is this actually in the game? Yeah, it happened in the in the in the finals in the top four yesterday. That's crazy! Wow, really yeah. top four too, man. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel like weird about it just to get disqualified. But yeah, Jesus. Um, I was gonna say. So, what based on your Aces series and your Gatorland experience, do you think this game actually has like a really good potential to become a serious esport or no? Uh, I think it has a really high skill ceiling, but I don't think it's that open to people who don't really know the game. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of these great competitive games like you can tell what's going on you know aces isn't that interesting to watch if you don't know what's going on unfortunately mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. which is really unfortunate because i love the game and it's got it's really really in-depth and it's great for competitive tournaments but i don't I don't think it has the potential to like make it big or anything i think it's it's going to be a small community which isn't a bad thing at all you know i really oh, enjoy idea. like I, I pretty much recognize everyone on the discord nowadays <laughs> works vice versa as well man everyone knows your name <laughs> um and i don't have that i don't have as much competition now so i can be the best this is good mm-hmm. uh did people recognize you when you went to like gatorland as well or like yeah there are quite a few oh really did um, you sign any autographs I, they... or anything or... <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately no one asked us have my autograph which is, oh which is no my handwriting is really bad and i don't have an autograph I don't think I've written Pelu Pelu down on a piece of paper in my entire life. Oh, oh gosh. Well, you better get started. But <laughs> can you imagine go. if somebody brings the, pe- the the polo from Japan? He's like, can you sign this? Oh, God, dude. I'd be so insulted. <laughs> he would cry, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'd steal it, to be honest. I'd steal it. Like, well, uh, I'm not going to sign someone else's <laughs> polo shirt that I didn't get. Uh, That's good, man. Was it weird, like, people being like, oh, my God, you're Pelu Pelu? Or was it just- <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that crazy. Oh, damn. <laughs> but it was, I mean, yeah, it's the little embarrassing, obviously. It's like, oh, mm. who, who are you again? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it was, it was a lot of fun. You know, I actually felt important. It was a great tournament. Yeah. How, how did it feel to community. be like, like, yeah, the, the actually meeting people in person for the community and mm-hmm. playing in person, as compared to like, I yeah. don't know, a tournament like this that just happens all, online. Uh huh. Um. Local play is so interesting just because everyone sucks on it. There's zero lag at all, and mm. no one can get nice serves because it's a completely <laughs> different thing. 
Like this, you don't realize how much lag there is online until mm-hmm. you play the local mode. It's crazy. So was it hard for you to adjust, or? I mean, we adjusted obviously, but uh, it's it's definitely really really cool when it's zero lag. It's a lot different. It's a lot like people play way better when there's no lag. Yeah. I think you. Yeah, it's probably- you ended up Probably. winning that tournament too, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. A fifth got second <laughs> place. A fifth, yeah. That's all. Okay. Um, I guess like we'll end up like a pretty like general topic. It's just like um, not advice for lower to level players, but if you're gonna, if someone came after you and said like, how do I get better in this game? What would you say? Oh, um, I think the most important thing about this game is shot selection and knowing where the ball is and what shots would be good where that ball is like uh, looking at the height of a ball is way more important than people Mm -hmm. actually think like there's a lot of aspects that go into the strength of a ball you know i'm right i'm trying to make a video about it but i'm so lazy that i'm it's been like three weeks and i haven't done anything about it Really? Yeah, like, too, too busy with Mario Tennis. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> yeah. keep up the scale. Knowing the difference between ground strokes and volleys, like what options are good in what scenario, you know, just mm-hmm. experimenting with all different shot types. You know, don't just spam B all the time. Even even if you do it in tournament, which is fine because it's optimal, at least experiment with other buttons, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you ever make that video, attack me on it, all right? I'm gonna have to like look it up and, and like learn quite a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tag in five yeah. years, Melvin. I wrote the <laughs> script before the patch came out, and now I have to like pretty much rewrite the whole thing because oh, shots have changed oh, a lot. T- and I'm just yeah. like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it might never come out. We might never know the <laughs> yeah. secrets. I mean, if you start at making like video content, though, that's huge because I feel like a lot of people mm-hmm. would be more engaged into the game, right? Like here, like I try to make videos, but I do not know like nearly as much as like you do, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, that extra level of like technical would be. Probably very important. And yeah, there's a lot of people who are interested in getting better, but there's not that many resources other than mm-hmm. just asking questions in the Discord. Yeah, that's true. You know, which a lot of people don't like to do. They'd rather just like watch a video about it. Mm-hmm. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, with school too, like it's I I don't know how much work you have, but I imagine it's hard to make videos at the same time. Well, keep no, I don't have any. I don't have any work at all. Oh, okay. Well, then <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't do anything. <laughs> Just plays tennis in your dorm room right. the entire time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think it's so good. I mean, all right. Enjoy the last you. thing that we got, I think, for the podcast is like, we got to get the, hey, hey, you know? Oh, no, I forgot about this. Oh, dude, I forgot kidding? about it too. This is great. Are you kidding? You, you oh, think I God, forgot? I, forgot the, I was I just thinking the, about I forgot to mentally prep for this moment. Right. Are you kidding me? Oh, this my is the God. Best moment. Everybody, everybody yeah. needs to be quiet because I'm going to clip no. this too. Yeah, give, me, give me some time. <laughs> All right, wait until the end of the podcast. I gotta mentally prep myself. All right, we'll give you. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just say our closing things, and then you better say it, otherwise we're pissed. I mean, I I'll, I won't be pissed, but Melvin, will, he'll never talk to you again. Oh man, oh, this yeah. is Christmas morning for him, dude. Look at his face; he's so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is like the oh, moment. Like I, we're gonna hear Pell and his team saying the "Hey, hey, come on." That's hype, dude. Uh, well, in the meantime, while he mentally prepares, are there any questions that they got for Pelu now that they have him over here? It's now or never, chat. I think people are I mean, a lot of... You can just ask me later, too. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, uh, okay. <laughs> but vocally, verbally, unless they, they get on a Discord call with you, there you go, and then you have some work. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he is not... A- question unfortunately <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a really good question very good insight by joe uh, uh ibu really really great i mean both of them are know what the hell is going on in this game so i don't feel like they have to ask i feel like a lot of players are probably playing birder right now i guarantee you right oh definitely yeah so i guarantee people probably watch the podcast after and be like damn i wish i was here to talk to him there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no i think they just do the exact thing that's happening in shot right now <laughs> oh my god okay all right well i guess uh Paolo, i guess it's that time we need to <clears throat> <laughs> okay yeah let me put both, both my, 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 my head oh, yeah. gonna be excited. god 
This is the worst thing you I've want, ever done. Hey, Melvin, make it easier for him. How about you do it, and then like it's easier for him. It's, you know? I, I butcher all the time, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's like, That's hey, true. hey. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, hey. There we go. That's well done. Right. Well yeah. done. Oh, there we oh. go. Jeez, I almost it's, fell out of my chair. If he has wait, roommates, wait. they're probably like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what did he just hey, my- say?" Imagine yeah, what my lamp lamp person thinks whenever I scream. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, ever, okay, if well, you ever go to like a Mario I'll... Tennis land tournament, Melvin, I better hear that across to like the venue, dude. Oh, you you I... sure will, bud. You sure will. Just some, get on the commentator's desk and just say that and leave. Oh yeah, it's like is anybody playing Daisy? Oh, that person over there. Like, <laughs> <anyone's>, like... <laughs> yeah, at, at Gatorland, they had the sound really loud because we were we had a projector. All and right. we had Daisy Ditto's at one point, and we were just ear raping the entire venue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was so oh, loud. It must it's have been great. Oh my! Oh, that sounds like hell, dude. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Jesus, That'd be horrible. Yeah, I-, I can't imagine what other people thought just hearing Daisy Eve across the all entire over. venue. All over. It's that <laughs> great, especially when you do just charging. Oh, oh god! god. All right, I, I did a lot of charge cancels. Oh, Wait, just like the repeated ease. That's awesome. That's fire awesome. Ease. Well, they they took away the the BM after the matches, the spin. Yeah. So you gotta There's do no dump. more power gyration. Yeah. I can't believe they removed spinning. Yeah, it's no. weird. Two BM. Yeah, they just did not want any text. Nothing <laughs> to anyone. No more Shwelly spin, Palo gyration, no. Palo tech, Jim Ray tech. Jim Ray Trap. The, well, they, they saw the, they saw the Reddit post for Shrelly, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not having." <laughs> we need to appear this one, man. This Reddit is very important to us. Uh, I, f- I f- always forget about that. This is Reddit. Yeah, that was what that was beautiful. It's quite a special community. <laughs> I can't tell if they Reddit. like the game or like they don't like. I don't think like anyone likes the game on there. <laughs> I, think I don't. I think no one at Reddit is allowed to like anything, though. I mm-hmm. guess how that community is. If you if when you sign up, that's one of the clauses right there. <laughs> you must hate everything. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that's it. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. Um, oh. Pal, if you want to like tag all your shit and everything, just so people know. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, watch me in the <laughs> Aces qualifier. I might start streaming soon. Ooh. Which, if I did, it'd just be twitch.tv slash pelu pelu. I need to mentally prepare myself for that. It's probably a little bit easier than the hey hey, so I might have a little more confidence. I'm and sure actually doing it. But, uh. <laughs> there we go. Good. Good. All right, if okay, this this is a thing, Pelu. Uh, you know, you are the AC player. They're the best player in the world. So if I if I if I stop streaming Mario Tennis, you gotta do the hey haze for me, bud. Every single time that you do the special, that's gotta be. I'll just go back to my old days of never using special. There you go. Well, <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Handicap his place style just so he doesn't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i did for a while specials was so i just hated specials so much that i just mm-hmm. never used them it, it was not because it was like strategically sound it was just because i really hated the game stopping to use the special oh, animation too, yeah. Mm, yeah 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 i just didn't want to use it and i, I lost a lot of games because of it i lost <laughs> a lot of points because of it i i, I just do it because they hey hey you know mm-hmm. gotta, gotta keep I, the I, people I what they want that. You're really committed to that. I can appreciate that. <laughs> well, I'm the switching characters. <laughs> <laughs> My throat has been hurting a little bit for a while now. God. All right. All right. Uh, Melvin, if you want to just plug your shit too. Well, if they don't know me already, I uh, my channel it's it's all fun and games. Uh, we stream top quality gameplay over there. Uh, so some some people might say it at the same level as Pelo, maybe. So maybe some people Perhaps. say it. It may, some maybe. people yeah some people they, they, i don't know what that was wrong with them but it's <laughs> yeah uh but yeah mostly uh mario tennis streamer uh trying to diversify a bit in the last little while also character wise uh so you can catch me there uh otherwise i also have a discord where i post most of the stuff that i'm going to be doing for the next little while i'm posting the uh it's all funny games magazine for october uh it's going to happen tomorrow morning so see what things are going to happen for the stream uh in the month of october so hope to check it out all right awesome awesome i, I won't plug anything just because you guys already know where it's happening uh, i'll put this on my youtube channel as well after the podcast is finished um 
are you streaming right now, Melvin? Are you gonna go stream? I'm uh, gonna go stream afterwards. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll raid you though. We have it. All right, boys. Everyone have a great night, great morning, great afternoon. Let's see. Fun with Bruno. Yeah, fun with Bruno. <laughs> oh God, I want to go watch Bobber stream for a second just to see what the hell's going just on. Just to see what the heck is happening with Bruno. Yeah, exactly. All right. Bobber is having a great time.